So, ladies and gentlemen, let me give you some perspective. Let me tell you why I'm in a good mood. Several reasons, okay? Number one, my business did pretty damn good this last week. I actually just, at least from initially what I can tell, uh, the numbers were great. And what I mean by that is YouTube. Everyone seemed to really enjoy the stuff that I put out this week, whether it was the continuing coverage of Pokémon Tournament, whether it was the, uh, the Dark Souls 3 kind of advanced launch, which I wasn't even planning on doing, but it kind of came out of nowhere. Um, you know, I did some vlogging, I did some reviews, but basically, overall, it looks like, uh, performance this week was really good. And I like that. What that tells me is that, uh, there's engagement. Okay, what that tells me is that you guys are liking what I'm doing. From what I'm seeing, this year started off slow, which it always does. January is an incredibly slow month for gaming, but every month it's getting better. So let me, performance from January to February improved. It looks like performance from February to March will improve. If stuff keeps up the way it's going, April with all the releases and stuff will probably improve. So I'm on a upward climb here for the year of 2016. Started off at a slump, and now going uphill. That's good. That's progress. That's what I want to see. If I can build this every month, right? If I can build this every single month with increases, by the end of this year, things could turn out quite well. Because the end of the year, if you guys don't know, is the big business on YouTube. End of the year, huge ad revenues. Huge. That's when everyone who has a YouTube partnership basically makes a ton of money at the end of the year. Which, by the way, is why, if you don't notice, a lot of YouTubers put out a shit ton of fucking videos at the end of the year. Or they build up events for the end of the year. For me, it's never been that big of a deal. I just put out whatever I put out and people watch it and whatever. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, hopefully, things get keep going positive. I am feeling great. Positive. Excited. There's so much stuff to do. So many games to cover. Right? I'm liking my new schedule. The fact that I only stream once a day. This year is a lot different. Than previous years when it comes to my business being able to do more edited content and more vlogging and i want to say thank you to those of you who are receptive to the change because let me tell you people don't like change whenever something changes people freak out oh my god it's not like it used to be there's still people to this day who tell me if you can believe this there's still people to this day who tell me they preferred when i filmed my gameplay with a camera in front of my television wow i mean it's only been three years since i changed that and we're only light years ahead of doing it guerrilla style like that. I mean, there was a reason why I did it like that. <clears throat> but, you know, <laughs> change comes and change improves things. I think that a lot of the changes that I have made to my business with live streaming, with the adoption of new kind of capture equipment and better quality stuff, video, audio, my stuff is way better quality wise now than it used to be, you know? And this year in particular, the change has been great, right? The change has been really, I think, the increase in vlogging, the edited stuff, it's a step up. Now, unfortunately, like I said, people aren't receptive to change. To make people go to a new channel like KO Gaming to see my edited content is like pulling fucking teeth. Keep in mind, whenever I review, released a game review previously, those game reviews would get between five to 15,000 views, no matter where I uploaded them. Now I put out much better game reviews, and some of them get like 3,000 views, because it's on a new channel. Solely because it's on the new channel. And, you know, that's kind of the, the, the chance I took making KO Gaming. And I'm going to have to live with it, and I just got to keep pushing forward, right? I have to keep pushing forward because I can't put it back on the other channels. It's already a major change. It's instituted into my work ethic and everything. So, uh, I want to say thank you to those of you who have been receptive to the changes. A lot of people have really, really enjoyed the increase in vlogging. Let's put it that way. The vlogging, I haven't seen so many people check out my vlogs in a long effing time. <clears throat> and I'm happy about that. And it makes me want to do more. So that's why I'm trying to do at least one to two kind of interesting vlogs, reactions to stuff, or stuff like that every week. I think it's worth it, right? Could you just plugs time? Uh, if you like my daily live streams, if you like my on-demand videos, if you like everything that I'm doing here on YouTube, you want to see to continue, you want to see to continue. You want to see me continue to be able to do this full time, including the increased in vlogs over on the King of Hate vlogs, the new edited videos on KO Gaming, the live streams and raw gameplay on DSP Gaming, there are several ways that you can support the business outside of just watching the videos, okay? Number one, social media. When you see me tweet something, at they call me DSP, retweet it, favorite it, spread the word, tell other people about it. Social media presence actually positively affects things concretely. I see people who say the dumbest shit on Twitter get hundreds to thousands of social media interactions on those dumbass tweets. And sadly enough, those people have huge reach 
for dumb shit. So, I'm just saying, if you're on social media, you already follow me on Twitter, you see me tweeting, retweeting, if there's something you're interested in, go ahead and please, you know, have some social media interaction. Send me a comment, tweet, or retweet, okay? In the description of every single video and stream, you're going to find a link. That link is to the Amazon Associate Referral. Patreon. No duh. I mean, everyone pretty much at this point knows what my Patreon's about. Pledge $5 or more. Please consider pledging. Even if you can't afford the $5 pledge to vote on the Blizzard Marathon, as little as a dollar helps. The most successful Patreon uh, campaigns are successful because a large number of people give a little bit. You know, half the people who watch my stuff gave a dollar a month. I would never have to worry about business performance or YouTube views or ad revenues or anything like that. I, you know, today I'm in a good mood because the business has do been doing good. If half the people who watch my stuff gave a buck on Patreon, I'd always be this way. <laughs> I'd never be down. I'd always be in a good mood because I wouldn't have to worry about that shit. That would be such a weight lifted off my fucking shoulders, but we're certainly not there yet. The final plug, and then I swear we'll get started. My girlfriend, Leanna, has her own business. It's called The Black Current, and she sells handmade glycerin soaps and wax tart melts.